Hi. One of the features in Loopy Pro 2 that I find quite fun is the ability to play a clip with MIDI as an instrument, a bit like a sampler. I've got two clips here. One is a one shot and the other one is a loop. And I'm gonna show you how to rig up some MIDI so that you can play those. The first thing to do is bring up the mixer and then you can target one of those clips as a destination of any kind of MIDI source. I'm gonna add the on-screen keyboard for this. Now that I've got the keyboard added to my project, I'm gonna tap the plus button in the destinations row for it and select one of the clips. Here I've got the choice between pitched notes, transient slices, or even divisions. The first will change the pitch of the note as you play different keys. The second one will divide the clip up by transients and let you play different ones with different keys. And the last one is similar, but it will divide the clip evenly instead of on transients. For this one, we'll leave it with pitch notes. And now I tap the clip to select it. Now that's all I need to do. I can already play using the keyboard but you'll notice that it cuts off as soon as I release the key. Loopy Pro uses the fade out duration of a clip in order to dictate what the decay will be, that is how long it will play after you release the key. I can go into playback settings here and change the fade out to something a bit longer to produce a more natural decay. I can play single notes, but I can also play chords with this system, which makes it quite fun to use as an instrument in its own right. If I target a loop instead of a one shot, then while I hold the clip, the loop will continue to play. This cello sample is a good example. You'll notice when I play it now, it continues to play while I hold it. I've chopped this sample up so that it has an attack and a decay section at the beginning and the end. I've done that by adjusting the start and end points of the cello sample. You can see that's the whole sample there. And I've moved these start and end points so that it feels like a good loop. And then I've enabled intro so that you hear the part before that loop sample so that it begins the sample and sounds good. You can also use outro so that it will play whatever comes after the loop when you release. The only downside is as of 2.0, the loop will need to play through to the end of the loop before playing the outro so that you get a consistent sound. That means that it might not stop immediately when you release your finger. What I did instead was I set a fade out duration on the clip so you get a decay when you release. You can drive these new playable clips from any MIDI source, including the built-in keyboard, a controller like this one, or a MIDI clip, or even a widget. So you can create pads which produce particular tones when you press them. This is the MIDI Showcase sample project that comes with Loopy Pro 2. You probably saw it as soon as you launched it. And it shows you how you can use all those different methods to play these clips. Sorry.